The tragedies that mark our Minnesota winters are as constant as the ice and snow themselves. In northern states where lakes and rivers are frozen playgrounds, nearly 100 people die each year when vehicles large and small crash through into frigid water. Some survive, but wish they'd had more time and a way to save someone else. So to demonstrate how quickly things can go bad on frozen lakes and rivers, I'm going to do something today that goes against every fiber of my being, not just as a person, but as an avid snowmobiler. I'm going to drive this snowmobile out into open water. and Two things are going to happen. One, it's going to sink and I'm going to get cold and wet. But two, I'm going to demonstrate a flotation device that is saving lives here in Minnesota that will hold me and this snowmobile up in safe water. The nebulous flotation device exists today because John Wynell He's going to come right down here. Can't forget the day a neighbor, just a young man, newly married, went through the ice near his house. And my wife and I got up the next morning and we looked outside and there were cops and firefighters and divers on the ice and I took my binoculars to check it out and there was a helmet laying on the ice. And I realized that he'd gone through on a snowmobile and had had the presence of mind to take his helmet off and had time. but could not get out of the hole in the ice and died. And so I told my wife it's too bad there wasn't some sort of a inflatable device that could have saved him. So John, along with some engineers at the University of Minnesota, invented one. The briefcase sized device clips and straps firmly to whatever machine you're using. Two CO2 canisters inflate a hidden raft large enough to hold two grown men and keep a snowmobile, ATV, or UTV from sinking to the bottom. Does it work? Well, on this cold January day, we're taking no chances. A rescue barge on the water, along with master dive instructor Kent Kickander nearby just in case. Well, I'm comfortable. Run it all the way out as far as you can. Phil Snyder helped develop the nebulous, and in doing so has taken the same icy plunge I'm about to. He runs me through some last minute paces, including the fact that I'll have about two seconds to react. So, I mean, I'm going to be riding like this. I'm going to lose momentum. Yep. Hopefully, I'll remember to hit the kill switch. Yeah. And hopefully, I'll have enough force. But I'm going to pull on this as hard as I can and inflate the nebula. By that time, I got about 30 seconds for that to inflate. Yep. And I usually try to get away from the snowmobile, mm -hmm. let the raft do its thing. So, you, just in case anything okay. were to go wrong, you don't want to be near the snowmobile and get snagged. Okay. And then crawl back up on that raft once it looks like it's inflated. Okay. Yes. We're ready when you are. With that, I hit the throttle. Even with a wetsuit beneath my jacket and pants, the frigid water hits me hard. It's in those next few seconds, which can turn to minutes, that accident victims perish. The cold is literally mind numbing. And even though it took less than a minute for the nebulous to inflate, it felt like forever. You should ask Randy if he's getting cold. It's cold. Yeah, he's cold. Okay, I'm safe. First thing you feel is cold water, like right now. Out of the raft and back on shore safely. That's cold. The whole episode took only a few minutes, but had it been an unseen accidental plunge, a real victim could have easily succumbed to the icy waters. So you saw what we did there, left the shoreline. We, obviously this is a mock-up, but in a, a real situation, a snowmobile would be driving along or an ATV, UTV. Suddenly they'd hit open water or the water would come because the ice crashes open beneath them. And then there's a panic. Sometimes they don't hit the throttle and they go straight down. This device and preparation allows you to stay safe. The nebulous, obviously, I had to pull the ripcord, but as soon as I did, it inflated and I was able to climb into it. And if you look out there now, you'll see the floating nebulous. The snowmobile is tethered to it, hanging beneath, which also saves in the, uh, the operations of trying to salvage uh, mechanicals out of the lake. So, worked the way it was supposed to. It's good. Carried now by most law enforcement and rescue teams in Minnesota, already this winter, the same flotation device has been put to several real-life tests. 
Coincidentally, the nebulous was used to save a young father and his four-year-old daughter just this past month when their UTV crashed through the ice near Alexandria. There it is, in the background of this rescue photo taken on January 21st, the little girl, Aubrey, being carried safely off the ice by rescue personnel after a nebulous was used to pluck her and her dad from the waters of Lake Ida. They were heading out to meet family for some ice fishing when Patrick unknowingly ventured onto thin ice. Patrick, tell me about your first thought when you either heard the ice cracking or you saw it start to go. Uh, the first thing that went through my head was actually, oh, this is how it ends. Really? So yeah, you thought it was that dire? I, I did. And uh, I had just enough time then to, to tell Aubrey to take her seatbelt off. And, uh, and then we started, I started going under, tip my side down first. I tried to keep my head above the water. Above the water. You did a good job with that, huh? Yeah. Yeah. As their UTV sank, Patrick grabbed Aubrey and climbed to the top of the fully submerged machine. A 911 call from witnesses on the shore had rescue personnel on the way. A nebulous eventually pushed out to them to climb on board. What, did you, what were you thinking, Aubrey? I thought we weren't going to go under. You didn't, though, right? You didn't go under. No. Nope. That's good, huh? Just for a second, though. Yeah. This dad and daughter beat the odds. Quick thinking and quick help coming in the form of a small package that proved to be a big lifesaver. Just to have that, that flotation device come across, was a, it's, it's a nice thing. Peace of mind, if you will, in a state like Minnesota, where winter fun for many is a state of mind.